seen you in a Friday or two, I think. But, uh, yeah, happy Friday. What are you doing for the weekend? I think I'm going to the farmer's market and um, a car show. So, I'm really excited for the car show. Can't wait to see a bunch of Mustangs, Challengers, Chargers, you know, all the good shit. Hopefully some lifted pickup trucks. Um, apologies, I think someone's yelling over here. Okay, I think they're done. I think it was for their dog. But I can't tell. But anyways, I need your help. So before you get too relaxed, before you fall asleep on me, I need your help. A big, 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 big request that I'm asking of you. And don't feel the pressure, please. Don't feel too pressured on this at all. I want to do a Q&A, but I don't know what questions you want to, to know answers to, you know? I don't know what you want to know about me, so please, if you have any questions, I would love to do a Q&A video, but I need a little bit of your help because, again, I don't know what I should be answering. <laughs> if, uh, if I don't get too many questions, I can also look up, like, random Q&As, but I kind of want it to be stuff that you want to know about me, not just like random facts. So, please, if you could just kindly leave a question, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, I can either shout you out, you know, like say your name along with the question, or put your name up on the screen with your question. Not sure how I'm going to do it, but it's really hot in here, so I think it's time to make it even hotter. <laughs> Pack up, roll up, heat up that rig, let's get baked in the sunroom once again. And we got beautiful bird sounds, and I started recording in here because it's about to rain. And I'm hoping that it rains while we're recording this time, instead of towards the end of the video. So, I hope you're packed up, rolled up, I hope your rig is heated. If you're popping edible, good luck to you. <laughs> you are living on the uh, risky, dangerous side. <laughs> no. Alright, let's go ahead and take a hit. If you're new, I'm about to take a hit out of um, the producer and I's wedding piece that we got two months ago. Two months ago. We got married on 420, so um, this is the piece we got if you haven't seen it. It does have, like, an ash catcher, usually. It's a little dirty, but this is the gorgeous piece. Oh, and I'm just realizing <laughs> it has no water, so let's fill that bad boy up now. as well. I just uh, didn't want to get too bad of cotton mouth right 
watching Mouth Sounds, you know, so I don't know what kind of person you are, but if you're here today and you're still awake, an upcoming video that I'll be doing is exploring a quarry, exploring a quarry, 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 not quarry, <laughs> quarry, <laughs> and uh, it is from the trip we just took to Vermont. I'm really excited. It was super dope, so I'm going to give a, a, a little bit of a history lesson on on it, just a little bit of background on it. You're going to get a whole tour of the place. I'm super excited, and you're also going to get a little bit of some hiking footage, some hiking footage on the way there, so if that is something that interests you, that'll be coming up in a few days. I'm super excited to share just where I got to explore, because it was in the middle of nowhere, really, and uh, it was really dope. We smoked in there, and uh, I would 10 out of 10 recommend. I'll give you the location, how to get there and everything, in case that's something you'd like to do. Completely legal. Um, nothing that you would get, like, a ticket for, for trespassing or anything. At least there were no signs posted. <laughs> so, I go at your own risk. You'll see it was pretty cool. A lot bigger than what it's gonna, than what it what'll be shown. Sorry, I thought that was a spider above us. It's a lot bigger in person than what you'll see in the video. The video doesn't do it justice, but wonderful graffiti. I love going to places that give an abandoned feel. Um, but I guess that's all I kind of want to, I just want to tease you a little bit. And um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the video. <laughs> see me in it. It's more of like a POV of you exploring the place. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> but I also, you know what, maybe this is a whole video of me asking you for help. <laughs> because I have a question for you. What is, I'm so sorry for, you know, you know the deal when it comes to ASMR videos. I try to just come out here when no one is making sounds, but it's inevitable. So, Apologies in advance for anything that happens. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do need your help. What is your favorite munchie? If you're a stoner, what's your favorite go-to random ass munchie? And if you're not a stoner, what's your favorite snack? <laughs> what would you recommend? What would you not recommend? Do you have any, like, nasty horror stories of a snack that someone made you try and you just were disgusted, repulsed? Let me know. My go-to snack, or I would say maybe not so much when I'm smoking, <laughs> and this is going to sound really nasty probably, but it is just plain bread. It could be a hot dog bun. It could be a hamburger bun. It could be just like sandwich bread. Two versions that I like to do. I like to do either <laughs> slap on some mayo on both slices of bread, put those bad boys together and start munching. Again, I'm sober when I'm doing this. I don't know if I'd like the taste after smoking and mixed with mayo. I think I'd, I don't know. It seems a little odd. I don't know if I've done it recently. I almost think I might have done it yesterday, but I had to wait till the uh, taste of seasoning, gardening seasoning is out of my mouth in order to eat stuff usually because I think that taste mixed in with normal food can sometimes be a terrible combination. <laughs> but yeah, mayo and bread, simple to the point. It's so easy. It's fast. You can start eating within minutes, within seconds almost. My other variation of that is bread again, <laughs> plain bread nothing else on it. Mustard and ketchup. I know, I know it sounds weird, but if you know, you know, and you get it, you freaking get it. <laughs> um, I would say that, let me tell you back story here. I used to eat this growing up, and it's because we didn't go to the grocery store often. We just didn't have enough money, so I had to come up with little creations. <laughs> And that's one of my creations. And um, I remember a couple years ago, I was 
friends with this one guy he came over to our place and the producer absolutely refuses refuses to try my creations because they're a bit out there they're a bit odd but I actually convinced my friend to try this creation not the mayo version but the um, ketchup and mustard the way I sold it to him was if you enjoy eating hot dogs, hamburgers, brats, and you know the condiments you like to put on it, it could be whatever favorite ones. You do not have to go with ketchup and mustard, but this is just the easiest one, and it's the one I like. I don't like relish, relish or any of that other shit on my stuff. I'm pretty basic. <laughs> but the way I sold it to him was, imagine you're at a cookout or something. You're eating a brat burger, hot dog, whatever. You're munching on that thing, and it's getting to the end of the meal. Usually, in my case, usually, you're just left with bun and condiments, and it's, it's probably one of the best bites out of that whole meal, in my opinion. <laughs> so then I thought to myself one day, why not just do that without the meat? It's, it's my favorite part. Of it, it, the ending is just chef's kiss. It is amazing. So, I convinced him that way by just saying, you know, like, imagine the end of your burger, hot dog, whatever. That is your literal last bite. Why not enjoy that fantastic moment for your whole meal? Don't get me wrong. I do love myself. Like, like I don't know what I'm saying. I do love a good jalapeno cheddar brat. Jalapeno cheddar. Oh, that shit's good. The little spice with the little, like, little cheese in it. Delicious. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it. But if you, if you can't handle spicy stuff, be careful with the brand you get. Because I just got a new brand of jalapeno and cheese, probably cheddar. Um, and the jalapeno was spicy. Oh my god, not as spicy as my usual brats. But it was pretty good. So, yeah, I want to know what your favorite munchie is. Something I put the producer on, but she actually recently told me that I put her on, was um, when I, before I met the producer, it wasn't my first time smoking or anything, but it was, I was getting back into smoking regularly, but not daily like I do now. I only, the only difference was I was living at my mom's house, so I wanted to be respectful on not smelling like that, and just, I don't know, it, I was a little, I, I'm a little weird when it comes to, like, smoking around my family, like, they know, but it's just really odd for me, <laughs> it's like, I don't want you to know me like that, you know, whatever, <laughs> but, um, Anyways, before I met the producer and I started smoking again, I realized that eating a Snickers bar while you're really baked, like, I mean extremely baked, not that little hit I just took now. I am a little baked, but I wouldn't say baked enough to really enjoy the beauty of a Snickers bar. When you get to that point, try a Snickers bar. If you like them cold, eat it cold. I like it at room temp. But let me tell you, it is, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> I have no words, as you can see. Snickers just go so hard when you are baked, when you're gardening, whatever you like to use, whatever terminology. Um, but it's fantastic. And if, if you're a silver bean, I'm sure it is just as fantastic. I've had Snickers bars, you know, as I'm sober and as I'm baked, but I just prefer them a lot more when I'm baked. <laughs> it is just a whole different experience with the caramel, the peanuts, the chocolate, and I'm sure, so the producer ended up getting a Snickers not too long ago, and that's when she told me I put her on. But I think a take five, ooh, a take five, that would go amazing, I think, because I think it's the same ingredients, just adding a pretzel, but I could be wrong. It's getting really dark in here. I'm excited. I think it's gonna rain soon. 
if I'm in your thoughts right now as you're asleep, if you're asleep. It's raining. Maybe I'm adding a little bit of rain into your dream right now. You never know. Or maybe you're dreaming about hot Cheetos. Take fives, Snickers bars. <laughs> but how do you feel about ice cream? Ice cream, how do you feel about ice cream? I think personally it's overrated, but it's good. It's not something that I would say I crave regularly, but it's a nice treat. I don't know what that was. I think it could have been a motorcycle, but it's raining harder. Let's listen. stars. 
clusters, nerd clusters. I am personally not too big of a fan of nerds in general, but the gumminess, the squishiness of a nerd's cluster. Chef's kiss again. It is really good, but nerds in the little box, they look like little pellets if you've never had them, little colorful pellets. Um, when you crunch on them, you can crunch on them. They're like, not squishy. I would give those like a 2 out of 10. The nerd clusters though, I would give an 8 out of 10. How do you feel about the nerd of robes? I think that's a bit much for me. I like them. I think they're the same as the clusters, just the clusters are smaller. But I could be totally wrong. I don't know if I've ever had a nerd's robe. I almost bought an edible that was a nerd's robe, but they ended up selling out. My dealer did, so I never got to try one. And I have tried looking for it at my dispensary, and I don't think they have it. I'll have to ask the next time I go. Now it's getting brighter outside, which is a little odd. Maybe the clouds are passing. <laughs> you never know. How, have you ever tried the... Oh my gosh. I actually don't know if they're just called robes. 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 They are... The ones I know of, I think, are red or pink. Whatever kind of thing you like to eat, 